We've just seen the last Orange Line train leave Forest Hills forever for 30 days ever. Now we're gonna take the shuttle bus. No idling allowed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's idling. They're based in Hanover, Maryland. Wow. Ooh, carpeted floor. Oh, this is very nice. It's got a rear window. Ooh, let's okay. get the rear window. There's overhead Hi. things. There's a bathroom. I mean, we have to do a bathroom review. It's locked. Miles, wait, look. Wait, 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 look. Ooh, cup holder. Really? And footrest. And power outlets. Ooh. I'm actually going to use that. And a, a trash bag, I guess. Safety. Belt. It's got safety. Okay, we're moving. Wait, Miles, we have. Those are just on. There is air. Okay. But what's funny is that you'll also like theoretically get like a Yankee Gillig crappy city bus. It's like you don't know what you're gonna and get. And God on knows this. what we're getting on the surprise bus. I hope you guys get one of those white kidnapper vans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get it. Where are you going? <laughs> we're just like walk three miles back from Oak Grove to your house, Miles. Yeah. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> what is this amenity we've just discovered? I want to see it in action. Hurry, hurry up. up. Come on, hurry up. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. Come go. on, Here let's do it. Come on, hurry up. We. Oh, are they locked in place? Uh, oh, oh, I think they are. Yankee Gillig. <gasps> no. See, that's so much worse. Like, you could end up on that. Yeah. Or you could end up on this. You know those buses are from, like, Orlando, Florida? <laughs> oh, God. They're second-handed. We're in the middle of the street. <laughs> Fomer time, the exclusive Night 29er Ruggles. Jaquelin, how do you feel? Oh, you know me from Jaquelin's Fomer Fun Elevators, Escalators, and more. I love the 29 ride for free. Here's a Yankee Excelsior. <laughs> that one signed up as Orange Line Shuttle. That one signed up as the Yankee, Yankee Line. line. <laughs> right. They're now blocking the intersection. Oh, great. Ooh, we're squeezing the lemon. And now we're running this way. <laughs> we're squeezing the tomato. Oh, Get out of here, Yankee. Oh my gosh, that was coming close there. Oh wow, we just sailed past Roxbury Crossing there without stopping. Not, this is a six-lane strode and there's no bus lane. Like, are you kidding me? How hard would it have been? Going northbound. <laughs> The bus actually serves the Rogue Upper Busway, but going southbound just stops like on the street. Another very narrow street right. here. Should I mention that these seats are not meant for fat people? Sure. So not only is the seat discriminating against fat people, like look look at this. I can't use the, the leg rest. I have no leg room. I I can maybe use the cup holder and put my drink right there and just go. Oh. Other than that, I mean look at this. Look at me. So for all y'all in the comments talking about hey he's fat. Damn right I'm fat. Fat people matter. That's true. <laughs> oh wait, the street's bus only though, look. It says it's all closed. There's a car in front of us. Okay, well. The street's gotten very bumpy. Yeah, yeah, the light's not having a good time. time. I don't know. <laughs> we skip back bags, we've been skipping all these. This street is bus only, wow. wow. Wait, look, they actually combed it off so cars cannot get here. Wait, is this Copley? Yeah. yeah it is. That actually was, that was only like 25 minutes. Thank you. I would like to point out that they gave the driver the, <laughs> the map. The map, I know. Saw that, yeah. Yeah. The Maryland flag, Maryland flag counter. Like 50, there's so many of them. That's a DC Metro one. Oh good, two approvingly terrible agencies. There's no signage saying where the green line is. No, no the green line. <laughs> That's the wrong way, Jeremy. That's the way I'm going. Bye. Oh, bye. There's literally zero signs that say like, <laughs> to get to the north half of the orange oh, line, I'm use sorry. green line. There's no free crossover here at Copley. So if you get in the wrong way, you're effed. Hopefully the fair gates are open at least. Hopefully. They're not. I good. doubt it. When's the next one? All right, Green Line's frequent at least. Starting Monday, these will all be government center. There'll be no service north of that. Bye. So there's a special bonus shuttle that runs from government center to Tufts Medical Center in Chinatown and back. It runs from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. every half hour with no published schedule. Do so you think anyone will know about it? No. Oh. There's the is there any no. Negative. Green line signage. <laughs> Finally, an orange line sign. Yeah, to, uh, uh, shuttle to Tufts. Tufts? Uh, hold on. Tufts? There's another shuttle that they announced like a couple days ago. It's supposed to go from here to Chinatown to Tufts. So that bus comes every 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Do you know when the last one was? Uh, a little Do you know where to go to get on it? Uh, it's supposed to, it's supposed to come here, but oh. it, hasn't, it hasn't showed up yet. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a feeling that the yellow bus is the shuttle because it's all the way down there. Oh, should we like speed walk for it? Yeah, well, yeah. Walk with purpose. You know the, uh, Yeah, this one from Canada now. Oh, jeez. This one. No, 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 no.
Are, are you the shuttle to Chinatown, Tufts? Tufts? Right. Yes, thank you. Oh boy, yeah, I'm excited for this. What crazy route will we take? We're reversing. <laughs> We're reversing. I think that's why the lights turned off. It's so cool, we can see out for a brief moment. I guess we didn't have to run. Oh. What? It's every half hour with no published schedule, so like, what are we supposed to do? And just a reminder, this runs from 5 to 7 a.m. and then from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. No one's gonna use this. A very confused looking rider. How much do you want to bet he thinks he's on the shovel to Oak Road? So a crowd of people walked up to the driver and asked if this is the shovel to Oak Road, and he said no. So the guy who got on the bus asked the driver if he was the shovel to Oak Road, and he said no, and he got off the bus. And now it's a bus to So we were correct that the guy was confused and thought this was the shuttle to Oak Road. This is just... Amazing. The operator is out of the bus now. What are our bets on when we'll leave, Jordan? Last sure. Special 1 a.m. shuttle to Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> we aren't actually leaving yet. He's yelling some, someone that they, this is the wrong bus. Don't get up. It's 11.05 and we're so leaving. allegedly these buses will be on the 5 or 35. My guess that we're supposed to leave at 11 and we're just leaving late. What street is this? I don't know. Jordan, what street is this? This is New Sutton. Know your streets, Miles. Okay, we're making a Haymarket stop. This is kind of a deviation. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Wait, I think the guy is telling him, no, this isn't the bus. <laughs> All that you to do was to pull over and tell the person, no, this isn't the bus. We're screwed. <laughs> we're taking a right onto Court Street on a bus-only street, well, apparently. Wait, we appear to be leaving we, the we bus lane. Cone. We hit a cone. We're going into the car lane, I guess. So it's a bus-only right, but our bus doesn't go to the north. <laughs> Right. Also, I'll note that we're back at Government Center. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, we Wait, just looped no around. Way. Look, we got on the bus over there. You can see oh it. Oh my god. Here's Park Street. We're going along the common now. You gotta love how downtown Boston is always full of traffic. This is like gridlock. How? <laughs> it's a theater district. Tremont Street Friday. is also like four lanes here. I wish they did run this at rush hour so that the every half hourly route would actually. It's like every be. hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> exactly. It's already 11.15. We left at 11.05. Oh my god. I do not believe we're gonna go back at Government Center 1135. We do. No way. That's a miracle. Let's see what we do. Are we gonna directly serve Tufts or loop around? <laughs> oh wow. Jordan, I think we're gonna loop around because if we're going to Tufts, we'd turn uh, that way. Jordan, you were wrong. You thought we were gonna make that way. Uh, shut up. We're Wait. turning on to Oak Street. <laughs> Wait, we leave the car. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, 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 nice. Okay. Nicely done. Oh, you're gonna have to run across the street. One. No. No, we're going to go. We're going back. We're gonna do. We're doing the loop. We just asked him if he was the shuttle to Tufts. Okay. Well, have fun. Goodbye, Jordan. Bye, Bye Jordan. Bye. You don't go to Chinatown. Thank you. Thank you. We just got a passenger. We'll see where they go. Is it okay if we ride back to Government Center? Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got the full trip. It's just kind of off to go to the center here, right? If we just go. I think so. It should be easy. What are we gonna do when we get to Temple Place? It becomes pedestrianized over there. Oh, we're taking a right. I don't know what street this is. Tell your streets, Miles. How are we getting out of here? I don't know. Is someone trying to get on? Someone's yelling at the driver. What is happening? Oh, I know. I mean, I guess people are using this. Sorta. Not in the way it's at all. If the bus goes by downtown crossing, then why not have it as a stop? But sensibly, those two people just got on it. <laughs> downtown crossing. <laughs> and that's <laughs> what is this route? All right. Oh, fine. <laughs> These are some tiny streets. We're just kind of crawling downtown. We haven't gone higher than 10 miles an hour on this whole trip. This is miserable. This is so bad. Again, they should run this at rush hour just to see how long it takes. We are kind of in state now. Like, we, we could also serve state. Operator's getting out. We're uh, we're outside oh. of the old state house, so I guess wait, it's like wait. state. The two people we picked up in front of the parking garage near downtown crossing have gotten off. <laughs> What are you doing? I think the driver is making sure he can make pretty go. Oh, they're moving the cone so we can make the turn. Oh my god. This is by far and away the best part of the entire evening. <laughs> we're very slowly turning. We've been here before, but now we're actually gonna just make the turn in the government center. Thank you. Thank you. We're at government center. What time is it? 11.35 on the dot. 30 minutes on the dot. So that's that weird bus. Suburban, whatever the heck company this is. I'm glad we didn't get that. The Yankee with a with a serif Whoa, spot. Look what's behind it. <laughs> what the hell is that? What horrible bus is this? Candle. 
just bought it. It's got a Wi-Fi and outlet. Wow. I kind of want to ride this one. I, I'll take it. Here's the Suburban bus. The back window is all screwed up. The panel's all screwed up. Jonesboro, Georgia. Here's the dispatching center. <laughs> Yankee Line North, north side, side Op Center. You want me in the video? Are you on YouTube? This will go on YouTube, yeah. Really? It's miles awesome. in transit. <laughs> Bye. It's worth knowing that the T has nothing to do with any of this. This is all Yankee. So Yankees, you know, they don't have enough bus to run this thing. So they brought in their friends. They're on the phone, they're like, hey, Chantles, do you have any buses you can bring? <laughs> and suburban. What time is it, Jeremy? 11.45. The bonus shuttle has not left yet. That's just gonna stay here indefinitely. Oh, wow. Oh, it's freezing. These are like your classic old coach bus seats. They're like, you know, cloth. Oh, yeah. Really big windows, outlets and every, <laughs> they're like wall outlets. The seats fall apart a little bit. Oh. Do the lights work? No, why would they? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, a little flimsy. Well, you know, it's an old bus, but it has a lot of personality. Does it have a recline? Yeah, no advert, we do know there's outlets. There's no Chantel's one. Do you think it's Guest SR? Yeah. I mean, you could try it. Uh, there might not be Wi Fi. I would like to point out <laughs> the top shell is still sitting there. I. What the? What is on that? I, I wouldn't rely on it if I were you. So the northbound bus runs express from Government Standard North Station. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's going southbound, North Station, then. Exclusive Haymarket stop, then a state stop, which they don't even advertise as being a stop, but okay, apparently this is it nuts. does that. This is the North Station stop, Miles. Okay, it's like kind of at North Station. It's worth noting that if you use coach buses, like once you hit seated capacity, you can't have any more people on. There is actually a benefit to this, which is that you don't get like jam into a bus and it just stands for the whole trip. But you also have to run a lot more buses. You know, Yankees <laughs> probably making money hand over fist oh, yeah. from this operation. <laughs> yeah. This is Science, science, park. science park, yeah. Here's the beautiful museum of science. This is the Gilmore Bridge. It goes over no man's land at Community College. Monday morning rush hour, this is gonna be so bad for traffic. Community traffic. college, community Ooh, college. This is the community college stop. You have to walk over Wait, that footbridge. They can't even let you off like, by the entrance to the station. I think it's too dangerous. There is a bus lane here, which is good. We have to deviate into the Sullivan Busway over there. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Aww. <laughs> Squeezing the tomato? No. no. Here. Also, Coach Bus only have one door. So the guy like, Don't get on yet. People are getting off. Unmarked black <laughs> bus. <laughs> what is going on there? This is the assembly stop. Yeah, that's assembly over there. The Orange Line yeah. Station. Orange Line. It's a couple blocks down that way. Oh, wait, wait. They're already doing Orange Line work. Look. All right, well, that's why they're at 9 p.m., I guess. Jaqueline asked if we made it to Oak Grove yet, and my response was a very sad no. There's a mass exodus here in Mullen Center. Ooh, we're here. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. All right, Jeremy. What time is it? It's 12:31 a.m. We left Forest Hills somewhere around 10 p.m. Chantels, what a majestic bus. Okay, welcome to the Rambly post mortem. I came back to the shuttle uh, last Thursday at rush hour to just ride the whole thing from Forest Hills to Oak Grove and time it. Um, and so while this is playing, I'll just give my thoughts on the shuttle overall. Um, you know, it could be a lot better, but it could be a lot worse. I've been hearing a lot of people say that, you know, it wasn't as much of a disaster as they thought it would be. And I think that's fair. Like, ultimately, there are some pretty good bus lanes along there. They're able to install really quickly, uh, which is really impressive. Um, and I mean, it serves all the stations, right? I would say the biggest issue with the shuttle was probably the signage. Even last Thursday, there still wasn't signage at Copley pointing to the green line. Um, so that should really be fixed. Um, but other than that, uh, it's kind of fun. There's just so many companies there. Um, one thing that I tried to get, but just couldn't because I came out too late, was um, there are some transit buses, some ex-transit buses I'm running on the shuttle um, from like the early 2000s, including an Excepta one, there's an ex-Golden Gate Transit one, and there's an ex-Metro um, uh, Transit Minneapolis one. Um, and those will be running around rush hour, and it's definitely worth trying to go and get those. Um, if you have the chance, because who knows when you'll ever get to ride one of those early 2000s buses again. Maybe never. Even still, like the coach buses on offer, like 
on the north side of this uh, live stream that you're seeing right now, um, Amriki and I got a, a bus from a Christian fellowship in Philadelphia. It was falling apart. It was really funny. Um, so you never know what you're going to get on this shuttle. But I would say, you know, good job to the city of Boston for installing a lot of bus lanes in a really short amount of time. I just hope that we get a better orange line out of this. Like, I hope that when the orange line reopens, it's actually going to be faster. There's not going to be any more slow zones. It's actually going to be a good service. And the jury is still out on whether or not that'll be the case, but we'll see. But yeah, ultimately, I do think that, you know, if this is what it takes to get a better orange line, then so be it. You know, if the orange line comes back and it's fast and nice, then that's great. Uh, if not, then that's annoying. <laughs> but yeah, ride the shuttle if you can, mostly to get those old transit buses, because it's really cool that they're running those. Um, and even just like the parade of random coach buses, is a lot of fun too. Um, so I guess overall review, it could be a lot better, but it also could be a lot worse. That's groundbreaking, I know. Um, and now I'm sure you're excited for what the final time is. It is an hour and 47 minutes. And some seconds. That is a lot slower than the train.